Three of the six seats in the Donegal electorate area were filled by independent candidates. Neath Kennedy topped the poll and was elected on the eighth count and will be joined by fellow independents Tom Conaghan, a former mayor of Donegal Town, and outgoing councillor John Campbell. Campbell was subsequently elected as the first chairman of the New Look Council. Veteran Fianna Fáil campaigner Sean McAniff, with over 50 years experience, was again successful in getting a seat in Lifford, as was Sinn Féin's newcomer Noel Jordan, while Finn Gale's outgoing councillor Barry O'Neill made a remarkable comeback when all seemed lost to grab the final seat on the 13th count. All day today, even when I seen the tallies last night, I thought there could be a chance and I kept saying to my wife Lorraine today, if the ball bounces right at the right time, and it did, and I suppose very lucky, but the Fine Gael vote held, and I have to pay tribute to my outgoing colleague, John Boyle, for being able to manage a vote to ensure that the number twos were there for the party, and I suppose that's the party machine at work, and it was born out here today. I was listening to local radio all day, former government ministers and TDs writing me off all day, and all the time I was picking up 15, 25, 10 here, 12 there, and then the big spill came in my own area. Yeah. It came down really to uh, geographical you know, uh, positioning, and thank God I was in the right place at the right time. I'm in Charles, as I say, it's uh, a long time since I had a councillor, and I'm originally from Inver, and I was being told there by Eamon Monan that Paddy Maguire, a way back, I forget what, the, it, was, it was the last Sinn Féin councillor, it's back in the 1920s, and that uh, was an Inver, so I'm, I'm proud to be that man. No pressure then, no? No pressure, no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> I've worked very, very hard in the community as a local representative in the community council since 2006 and 2009. So I believe that the work that I've done has shone through and the people of Killybegs, my hometown, have come out in their droves to vote for me and I really, really appreciate it. But not only that, I think there was a thousand votes in Killybegs for me and thank you so much to everyone who's done it. But there was 762 number ones, I think, from the rest of the area, area yeah. from Bundoran through to Glen. Yeah. And I really appreciate everything that yeah. they've done. They have great faith in me and I really am delighted. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael's vote collapsed. Um, and it's a reflection, I think, of the mood of the people. It's a reflection of the work that the likes of Thomas Springle has been doing for the last 15 years that proves that independent politics is a more representative and a better representative uh, type of politics. It's closer to the people, closer to the want, what they want. I see the three independents that are elected now have very divergent and different views on yeah, things. Yeah. But it doesn't stop us working honestly for people and it doesn't stop us putting our, our whole heart into it. You don't need a party behind you to make an effective difference and I think we've seen that today and you'll see it in the new Lifford, you'll see it in the new Donegal electoral area. Uh, in the upcoming years. I always felt and I always tried to approach councillors, TDs, etc. And there was nothing really happening, you know, so I felt when I became mayor, you know, that I'd roll up the sleeves myself after being beat here by 11 votes five years ago. Yeah. And I says, right, somebody's got to get involved and get this town off the ground. The one thing I, I hope to do is to stand up as far as the people in the surrounding areas and Donegal town that have put me in there. I will gladly represent them and I'll gladly not be taken for granted. I'll fight my corner. I'll not look for any more than I should get, but I can guarantee you if I'm not getting it, I'll, I'll, I'll look for it. I enjoy it. I love helping people out and I, I, I work very hard and sincerely and as I said in my election manifesto, if I can't deliver, nobody else will deliver after me and I've never let anybody down that came to me. I've represented them exceptionally well and they've really responded this time and says, well done, Sean.